The Vacora Vacuum Assisted Breast Biopsy System is indicated to provide breast tissue for histological examination with partial or complete removal of the imaged abnormality. The system is completely self-contained to include the vacuum source and all tubing. 14-gauge and 10-gauge biopsy probes are available in two lengths. The multifunction button initiates the biopsy sequence. The optional prime button retracts the probe 20 millimeters, and the pierce button then advances it to more easily pierce through dense breast tissue. Rotating the thumb wheel changes the orientation of the sample basket, allowing sampling in different radial positions. The following procedure is a stereotactic X-ray image-guided breast biopsy using the Vacora biopsy system. The procedure is being performed by Dr. Margaret Bertrand at the Bertrand Diagnostic Imaging and Breast Center. In preparation for the procedure, the biopsy probe is loaded into the Vacora biopsy driver. Simply remove the pin, slide the probe into the driver, remove the red insertion guide, close the driver cover, and if desired, prime the device to pierce dense breast tissue. The patient is positioned to acquire the initial stereo pair scout images. We have just taken the stereo pair and I have placed the markers. And I choose a place where the calcifications are relatively dense and representative of the abnormality. So we place one mark here and then on the opposite stereo pair we place the other mark and click on these and this alerts the computer to put the X, Y, and Z coordinates into the system which are then transmitted to the unit. The Vacora 10 gauge biopsy device actually pulls in tissue around the mark so we're going to actually get quite a bit of calcification in this sample. The patient is prepped by applying antiseptic and the appropriate biopsy accessories are attached to the stereotactic imaging device. We just transmitted all of the data from the uh, Opdema device and I'm doing X, Y, and Z coordinates here as we get you positioned. That way I know exactly where to put a little 2% xylocaine to numb the skin and Make a tiny little incision. Now yeah, we'll put a little introducer in there and I always just loosen it up a little bit before I put it in. Make sure everything's flush. Now I'm looking at my coordinates and I like to take this down to zero. Let's take a stereo pair now. We have just taken the post-placement film, pre-biopsy film, and it's a little less easy to see the calcifications in this one because we've already injected xylocaine, so it's grayed out a little bit, but they're right here and right here. So we see we're going to be in excellent position once the instrument is deployed. It will come out right to here, so perfect placement. Now I'm going to remove the stylet. We're going to start out with four samples. We're going to deploy this to the right depth and you're going to hear a pop and you'll feel a little vibration. All right, are you ready? One, two, three. Is that good? All right. Now a little uh, electric toothbrush sound complete the sound effects here. You're all right? Good, you're doing great. All right, now I'm going to pass this off to Val. Now there's a little thumb wheel on the top of the needle. I'm going to turn it so that we can go all the way around the clock.
And that completes the second sample. These are our post-fire images, and you can see where the area is a little blacker, that we have virtually removed all the calcifications in the area. We can see a few just in the inferior portion to let us know that we're right on our target. I feel very good about the placement and the removal of the calcifications. The specimens are radiographed to verify microcalcifications are present. This is a good example of the specimen radiograph. We took four samples with the Vacora 10 gauge. Usually four is enough when you're right in the area that you want to be. We can see this was well sampled with some calcifications actually in each core. So the only thing left to do now is to place our tissue marker. This is called an ultra club. We just position that I usually like to pull this up a little, about five millimeters. Let's get that down there. Okay. And now we just advance this all the way in. And I just very gently push the button down and it deploys. And then I just twist it a little bit, pull it back up. Well, what we see right here is a nice shot of where most of the calcifications have been removed. We can see a few residual down here, but very importantly, our ultra clip is well positioned. And uh, you can see this comes in three different shapes, but this is the survivor ribbon shape. Just put my hand under here so you don't stick to anything. You can lean back now. It's a pretty quick procedure. Now I've got you all cleaned up and uh, we're going to put a small pressure dressing over the Steri strip. You can shower tomorrow and all you have to do is remove the pressure dressing and just shower right over the Steri strip. Mm -hmm.